Olga Lamaca here, your friendly artist and your art expert. Today I'm in Madrid at the Museo Tizen Bornemetza and I will give you an exclusive tour of its current and cool exhibition, Pop Art Myths. As a pop artist myself, it's going to be a truly personal journey and I hope you will travel with me and bear witness to the pop's time in history. Are you ready? Okay, let's go! to imagine the hours of work they needed to gather such a world-famous masterpieces as this, from more than 50 museums and private collections. This exhibition features more than 70 works from the British pop pioneers to the classic Americana. There are subsections on portraiture, still life, landscape and history paintings. The show reveals how the now legendary images that we all know often consider superficial in fact, conceal a keen and a powerful message about values. They demand, take a look at yourselves, people. To me, that was obvious. I had an immediate response to the wit and challenge of pop. This exhibition means everyone can now share in that response and see the gravitas behind the glitz. Pop art is so called because it was about popular culture. It was hip, it was happening, it teased the establishment with its ironic take on consumerism, materialism, the keeping up with the Joneses mentality of previous generation. Pop art was like a precocious kid challenging the status quo by using advertising and comics as artistic devices. Hi, Marta. Thank you so much for joining me and my enthusiastic art audience. This extensive show on pop art includes work from more than 50 museums and private collections. How on earth did you gather all these masterpieces together? Well, it's not easy, I must confess, to have so many works from so many different collections from so many countries uh, together in, in Spain, in, in this exhibition in Madrid. But uh, it's a matter of um, work. We, when we decided to do this exhibition, we were convinced that it was very important to have this, exactly these works, just to explain what we, went to, we wanted to explain. So we worked hard and we contacted many, many institutions that want, don't, they, they are not uh, always uh, ready to learn because these works are very important for them. But when you have a good subject, a good uh, idea for an exhibition, they, they lend you. As you know, but perhaps not my audience, the independent group OIG was founded in Britain in 1952 to debate art. What did they hope to gain by this? They started very, very early, 52. When we talk about pop art, we are mostly thinking about end, uh, the end of the 50s, beginning of the 60s. So they, they, what they wanted to do is to change the art scene. They wanted to open a debate about art, about uh, artistic uh, languages, and include the uh, um, the popular culture into art. So we, they, they were, we have to think when this started, there was a moment when the abstract expressionism and informalism in Europe and in America were really strong. And they wanted to change this. The, all these artists, not only independent group, but all the pop artists were, were a reaction against uh, this abstract language of the years. Uh, of the 50s, 40s and 50s.
This show will offer a reassessment from a 21st century viewpoint. We are trying to say that pop art was a new, a revolutionary language, but not only that, what we are trying to show is that pop art was also close related to the tradition of art, to, to the, all those uh, subjects like painting, like landscape, portrait, still life. They did reinterpret these themes. But for me personally, uh, what I have learned about pop art is that in pop art nothing is like it, it seems. You see a painting, it seems like uh, only a camel, camel soup can. There's nothing behind, but yes, if you look, if you read a little more about Warhol, how he worked, you will discover that it's much more behind and this is the thing that, that interests me about pop art. Marta, thank you so much for joining me and my art-loving audience. Well, I hope you enjoyed taking this trip with me through the funky and fascinating world of pop. Groovy, glamorous, and as you witness, a hugely important culture movement. <laughs>